I'm so ready for this one. I don't know what it is, but I brought a spoon. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you for us on Patreon. So we can't ring the bell. We follow the notifications. Go on. Bang! Also, follow us on our personal YouTube channels. The links in the description right down there. Uh, today, we are doing a stand-up comedy reaction. Yay! Yay! We like to laugh. We are fans of laughter. Uh, this is called Dark Skin and Getting Married. Something we can both relate to, of course. Um, well, technically, compared to me, you're pretty dark. Uh, <laughs> say something? I think everybody compared to you is pretty dark. Leland's pretty dark compared to me. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm a, a pasty as tasty. Just know that, everybody. <laughs> pasty as tasty. Uh, disclaimer. This video is for entertainment purposes only and is not intended to cause any offense to any individual, community, or legal entity. <laughs> In case you didn't know what comedy was. Uh... <laughs> yeah. In case you didn't know what comedy was, just go back and watch Mel Brooks and Don Rickles, everybody, and you'll remember what comedy was. Written and performed by... Uh, say his name for me. I don't want to mispronounce it. Sekaran? Sikran, a comedian uh, from Hyderabad, known for his clean comedy. He writes and performs comedy in English and Telugu. Cool. Most excellent. All right, dark skin and getting <laughs> married. A, his, yeah, hashtags are clean comedy, Hyderabad, and pure veg jokes. Pure veg jokes. Those are the classic yeah. ones. All right, ready? Those are the, yeah. Three, two, one. Hi. So my name is Saikiran. I come from a nearly nice family. I love my mother. She's a good mother. I tell everywhere she's a great mother. But she isn't satisfied. She says, I don't want to be a good mother or a great mother. Make me a grandmother. <laughs> but it's not easy, difficult, because it's not easy for me to get married. Because I'm very bad at first impressions. Most girls who see me for the first time don't like me. If only they spend some time with me and get to know me better, they start to truly hate me. <laughs> <laughs> like, even when I'm silently walking on the road minding my own business, any woman coming in the opposite direction instinctively crosses to the other side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> and nowadays with all this news about violence against women, the moment women see me, they start covering themselves with their sari pallus like this old. <laughs> One day I saw a girl do it and I just lost it. Hey, what are you doing? Do I look like a molester? She said, no, 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 no. I thought you were a chain snatcher. <laughs> it happens, it happens all the time to me because I think, because I'm dark skinned. People don't like hey? dark skinned people in our country. Forget others, He's not that my dark. parents. I know. Like when I was born in the hospital, looking at me, their first reaction was, ayo. <laughs> <laughs> they said it so loudly, half the hospital thought I was a girl. <laughs> My mom made it her mission in life to make me fairer. It's unfortunate. She had a poster of Michael Jackson in the kitchen. <laughs> if his mom can do it, I can do it. <laughs> My mom spent more money on almond milk to rub on my skin and make it fairer than buffalo milk to feed me. I was just born dark. I grew up to be dark and malnourished. Like I'm a fully grown adult today, but my mom doesn't let me touch coffee or tea. Saying drinking them will make me darker. Boost and bone weight also banned. People like my mom believe the color of what you eat affects the color of your skin. <laughs> That's why South Indians are obsessed with eating everything in white. <laughs> Rice with curd, appam with stew, idli with coconut chutney, 
doesn't make a difference. No matter the color of what you eat, the end result is still brown. Skin, 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 skin. Poop jokes, I like them. But I can understand my parents' disappointment because in my family, we have both genes. My grandfather was dark, but my grandmother was fair. Forget South Indian fair. Forget North Indian fair. Lighter, because he he looks light to me. Imagine an Afghanistani. I know. Albino. That's how fair she was. And they both got married because my grandfather was dark and rich. My grandmother was fair and poor. Now I am dark and poor. <laughs> but we have the other branch of the family, my cousins, who inherited all the money and the fair genes. Oh, they make so much fun of me. Hey, Saikiran, you're such a lucky guy because you're dark. Unlike us, you can go out in the sun whenever you want. <laughs> As if my skin doesn't burn. This is melanin, not Teflon. <laughs> These fair-skinned morons think that if a cow stays in the sun for too long, it becomes a buffalo. <laughs> but forget animals. Even gods cannot escape this discrimination in our country. You all know Lord Krishna. Krishna means dark. He is described in the Mahabharata as Neela Megha Shyama which means as dark as the rain-filled cloud. Then why the hell do they show him everywhere to be sky blue in color? <laughs> like how color blind do you have to be <laughs> to confuse the color of the cloud to the color of the sky? That's why we can't predict rains in this country properly. <laughs> if you remember TV Mahabharata, Lord Krishna was played by Nitish Bharadwaj, who was super fair. That's like Leonardo DiCaprio playing Nelson Mandela. <laughs> because we have, we, we can't accept a hero can be dark skinned. Why? We are just dark, not shady. I don't think yep. Lord Krishna was really a thief. No. He was just the darkest child in Vrindavan. And everybody accused him only. Because all the stuff that was getting stolen were white eatables. <laughs> Butter, milk, curd, who else? But at least ancient India was a progressive time. Because in spite of all the propaganda, Lord Krishna was very lucky with the ladies. Not something I can claim to be. I recently read a report by jeevansathi.com. According to it, 71% of Indian women want their husbands to be fair-skinned. The rest, 29% don't care about skin color, as long as the guy is rich. So in this country, to whitewash brown skin, you need black money. My face is red with anger, but you can't notice it because of my skin color. See, I, 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 I know about these matrimonial sites, unfortunately. Because let's be honest, this face wasn't exactly manufactured anticipating the arrival of Tinder. <laughs> the highest my parents aimed was telugumatrimony.com. <laughs> and I registered on that site some time back. And there I realized that the competition for Indian women is absolutely brutal. On these websites, for 100 men, there are barely 50 women. And NRIs take away the top 20 export quality girls. <laughs> the next 20 go to the two I's of India. IITs and IIMs. I don't Men know like those me are. don't stand a chance. Yeah, neither do I. So I clearly wrote in my profile, I may not be NRI or an IITN, but I'm healthy, I'm a vegetarian, and I do not smoke or drink, even coffee or tea. <laughs> I thought many women will be impressed by someone like that. And I got five responses. Not from women, but from people requesting blood and organ donations. <laughs> it was a bit painful, but I took the money and the fruity and registered myself on shadi.com. And 
and I'm very proud to tell you, just a few weeks back, I completed five years as a fully paid member of Shadi Adol. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, I'm the first person in the country to reach this milestone. <laughs> so they sent me a congratulatory email. <laughs> and they said, after five years on Shadi.com, most men get into a committed relationship. <laughs> or commit suicide. <laughs> so as a special gesture towards me, they gave me a free upgrade. <laughs> to the fresh faces section of secondshadi.com. <laughs> and there on that website, I saw all these familiar girls who five years ago rejected me, got married, had kids, got divorced, and again on this website, again rejecting me. <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> they say I'm incompatible with their kids. If you agreed five years ago, that would have been my kid. But a lot of people wonder, if a product is on display, either Amazon.com or Shadi.com, either it's a marketing defect or a manufacturing defect. I'll be honest with you guys here, I have a small manufacturing defect. I'm a manglik. Yeah. So before I can marry a girl, I have to marry a tree. Now the only thing more difficult than finding a girl these days is finding a tree. But you may say, but there are so many trees around, you can just marry it. It's not that simple. What? There are caste issues. <laughs> I cannot just marry a tree. creeper or cordon. Like if you're a marwadi, no you can idea. marry a money plant. <laughs> you're a Brahmin, you marry a touch me not. <laughs> you're mixed caste, you have to marry a hybrid. So I was getting desperate, like because all my friends had girlfriends, they're taking them to the, all these parks to do naughty things behind the bushes. I was going to the same parks alone to do naughty things with the bushes. But my very good mo loving mother, she anticipated this when my horoscope was written. So she started raising a plant in my house, hoping when the time comes, I can just marry it. But now my priest tells me, because the plant and I were raised in the same house by the same mother, we are like brother and sister and should not marry. Yeah, so obviously there was a, not his fault. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there was quite a few things in there that went completely over our heads. Um, yeah. And you know, you can't, that's, that's one of the issues with stand-up comedy. It's a lot of um, cultural stuff that you just have to you you have to know. Uh, yep. And once again, it's not his fault. It's, we're nope. not of that culture. We don't understand it. Of the stuff I did understand, it was pretty funny. Uh, there, he does have a, a very self-deprecating uh, mm -hmm. style of comedy, uh, which can be hilarious. Some of it was just from some, I mean, maybe it was because it's I guess similar to like if there was a black comedian and he was speaking to a completely black audience about yeah. things that happen to black people and they can all relate and laugh but right. uh, if like it's stuff that's also just like ooh that's that's really sad <laughs> right like, yeah exactly because it's it's rooted in truth yeah um, yeah and, and ob so obviously since we're not part of that culture it's harder for us to laugh at that um because we're like ooh uh yeah your mom shouldn't really want you to be fair. You 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 look fine. You're you're doing great, man. <laughs> but exactly. obviously, if you're in that culture, you can laugh at that because it, it's probably a very common thing. Just like there's stuff with you know white moms, black moms, Mexican moms, and and the cultures can relate to that. But somebody from the outside, it's harder to understand, and it's just more like, why? You you look you look fine, man. You're doing. <laughs> exactly. I'm, so, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> and and. For those of you who don't know, because whenever I hear a joke about him, I always want to jump to Michael's defense. Michael had vitiligo. It's a skin condition. He didn't purposefully change his skin color. He was a very proud black man, and it hurt him when people said he was wanting to be a white man. That's why he wrote the song Black or White. He started to develop vitiligo during Off the Wall. 
So look it up. He had a severe case of vitiligo. So there you go. My defense of Michael. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, so he had a few fu- that we could understand funny moments. Um, once again, not really his fault. I think this one just had way too many cultural stuff that we just, it, it <laughs> way over my Yeah, head. because he can say something funny and then we get lost in the cultural references that we don't understand. And so he doesn't carry the momentum of, it's unfair to him for us to give him a critique in some way because we're not carried along in the totality of his set. He put yeah. together a definitive set that's got a flow to it, yeah. and it pulls us out of that flow when we don't get the cultural reference. So yeah. no, I'd love to see him again uh, and have a better understanding. Yeah, if, if, if he has other stuff that's not as rooted in the culture, um, yeah. and, and if he doesn't, that's fine. You know, yeah. it is what it is. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's, I, I just don't want to, you know, um, hold it against him that, you know, it's, it's, it's that and us white dudes can't understand all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Da